Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's on tutorial. In this video, you are discussing about assignment rate solution of municipal solid waste management. Here you can see that the first question is, what is the COD reduction in conventional anaerobic sludge treatment? First, 80 to 90 percent. Second, 10 to 30 percent. Third, 50 to 70 percent. Fourth, 30 to 35 percent. Here is the explanation of question number first. Hydrolysis step become rate limiting and degree of degradation is limited 30-35% CO2 reduction in conventional and aerobic sludge treatment. So the correct answer is question number first is option number option number D 30-35%. Question number second. What is converted to pep peptides in hydrolysis process of anaerobic radiation? First polysaccharide, second protein, third fats, fourth none of these. So the explanation of question number second is here. In this process, insoluble complex organic materials such as protein, polysaccharide and fats are converted to soluble monomer such as peptides, fatty acid and saccharides. So the correct answer is question number second is option number A. Polysaccharide B. Protein and also C. Fats Question number third, the pH during acetogenesis can be lowered up to first, four, second, five, third, six, fourth, seven. So the explanation of question number third is here. This stage is affected by a diverse group of bacteria which are capable to bringing down the pH inside the digester to four. So the correct answer is question number, question number third is option number A, four. Question number four. Pre-treatment of biomass can first improve solubilization, second disintegrate biomass, third improve biogas yield, fourth none of these. So the explanation of question number four is here. The pre-treatment technology ensure biomass disintegration and improved solubilization in order to overcome the biological limitation of anaerobic side digestion. So the correct answer is question number 4 is option number A improve solubilization uh, and second disintegrate biomass question number 5 the optimum range of pH during methanogenesis first 6 to 7 percent second 5.5 to 6 percent, 7, 7 to 8.5 percent, and fourth, 6.5 to 7.5 percent. So, the explanation of question number 5 is here. Methanogenesis are effective in pH range of 6.5 to 7.5. So, the correct answer is question number 5 is option number D, 6.5 to 7.5. Question number 6 What is the optimum? Carbon and slash nitrogen ratio for anaerobic digestion. First, 20 to 35, 35 to 40, 10 to 15, 40 to 45. So the explanation of question number 6 is here. Carbon slash nitrogen or yeah, CN ratio range of 20 to 35 has been found to be mostly suitable for various types of substrates. So the correct answer is question number 6 is option number a 20 to 35 question number seven what is the sequence of anaerobic digestion process first acetogenesis acetogenesis hydrolysis methanogenesis second hydrolysis acetogenesis acetogenesis methanogenesis third hydrolysis acetogenesis acetogenesis methanogenesis fourth fermentation acetogenesis acetogenesis methanogenesis so the explanation of question number seven is here. The stage of anaerobic digestion is hydrolysis, acetogenesis, acetogenesis, methanogenesis. So the correct answer is question number seven is option number C. Hydrolysis, acetogenesis, acetogenesis, methanogenesis. Question number eight. What are the disadvantages of thermophilic temperature range during anaerobic digestion? First, decrease free ammonia content. Second, increase free ammonia content. Third, reactor stability increase. Fourth, decrease psychochemical properties of the substrate. So, the explanation of question number 8 is here. 
temperature thermophilic temperature range some positive effect are here and some negative effect are here first is increase the fraction of free ammonia ammonia inhibition could disturb the whole ad process dynamic and may harper the quality of gases reactor stability reduce high accumulation of bfa occur which affect the growth rate of methanogenesis effluent quality reduce and toxic toxicity increase for certain type of substrate so the correct answer is question number it is option number b increase free ammonia content we will meet in the next video thank you guys